this video we're going to look at um, the difference between a plurality and a majority and how you build a coalition. <clears throat> so what we have here um, is just a, a small chart um, and across the bottom you can see that the different colors represent um, candidate A, candidate B, C, D, and E. So we have five different candidates who are running for office and on the left hand side what you can see is that the red candidate has a plurality. Because we're splitting the votes between five different candidates, it's going to be very difficult for one of them to get a majority, which is 51%, one more than 50%. Um, and so a plurality is the person who has, or the candidate who has the most votes, has more votes than anyone else, but it is less than a majority because they do not have 51%. Because if you look at the other four candidates, a majority of, of people don't want candidate A. So, but those people divided their votes between B, C, D, and E. So a plurality is just the candidate who gets more votes than any of the other candidates, um, but does not have a majority. And this is what you see in multi-party systems. Um, in our system in the United States where we have a two-party system, you only have the red candidate and then the gray candidate. Um, and so you are going to have, um, unless you have a 50-50 tie, if there's an even number, you're going to have someone who gets the majority of votes, um, which is 50% um, plus one. Um, so plurality is just when you have multiple parties and people are splitting their vote, um, <clears throat> you're going to have a candidate who gets more than everyone else but does not have a majority or 51%. And once again, when that happens, when you look at B, C, D, and E combined, a majority of the people don't even want A, but because we split the votes four different ways, um, the person with the plurality is going to win. And so what you're going to see here, and this is another illustration of it, when you have um, three different candidates. Uh, four people voted for K, um, and then two people voted for L, and three people voted for M. So you have five who don't want K and four who do, but because they got the plurality, um, they won the election. But what I want you to see on the other side, because L and M are combining their votes together, um, they are forming a coalition. And so you can actually have the side that doesn't win the plurality working together on votes for individual issues um, and winning over actually the candidate or that the group or the party that wins. Um, and a generic example that I'm going to give you, the, the most heated vote that I take all year long is over the class song. And so if I gave um, at the end of the year three different choices for class song, you could potentially have um, one song get 40% of the vote, and then another song get 30%, and another song get 30%. So because that one song got 40%, it got the plurality, it got more votes than the other, it's going to win. But if you really look at that, 60 people or 60% of the people don't like that, um, that song. And so um, I always narrow it down to two songs because I want the majority to win. I want, you know, the people, the, the, the song that a majority of the people in the class like and not a plurality because once again that could be the least liked song but if I split the other 60% on two songs then that 40% is going to win. So a plurality is just uh, winning with the most votes when you have multi-party systems um, but you lack a majority. When you have a two-party system like we have, and we do that because there is no, there are no uh, prizes for second place. In a multi-party system where you do it proportionally, second and third and fourth place parties can still get seats. In ours, if you don't come in first, you don't get anything. And so in our um, two-party system, we have a majority. In a multi-party system where it is proportional, where you're going to give four seats to party K and two seats to party L and three seats to party M. Party K has the plurality, but parties L and M can form a coalition and work together and actually outvote the party um, that, that, you know, is the winning party.